Hey everyone, FlashLX here. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Beyond Mods A to Z, where we cover every single mod in the Feed the Beast Beyond pack so that you are experts. Today we are looking at a mod called Quark. Now I'm sure you've heard of Quark and you've probably seen some of the things that it adds without even realizing it. One thing about Quark is it tries to say that everything it adds in the pack should fit into vanilla Minecraft and not be noticeable as something completely different. You know, it's not going to add technology, you know, this all of a sudden. It's just going to try and improve vanilla a little bit. So a lot of times you'll have Quark in your pack and not even realize it. There's over 130 functions in, in Quark, things that it adds. Um, and every single one of them is enabled or disabled via config file. And a lot of them are only available in certain versions. And a lot of them are not available if you have other mods. <laughs> so it's kind of confusing to know which ones you can use. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to cover Quark in this is so you can know which things are enabled in Feed the Beast Beyond. Quickly, before I, I cover everything in, in this pack, I'm going to show you how to change the configs. If you go into your mod options and then you search on Quark, you'll see you can select that one and go into config. And here you can go and turn on and off every single function in the pack. So you can do completely turn off certain modules, which will cover everything in that module, or specific items like in building if you don't want to have iron plate blocks, you can turn those off, right? Um, so, you know, if you want to play Feed the Beast Beyond as it's intended, don't change any of those. But if there's something in Quark that you really think is cool and you want to add it, hey, it's your game. You can play whatever you want, enable it, or disable it if you don't like it. Let's get to it. Let's cover everything in the Feed the Beast Beyond. It's a very subset of the full Quark mod, um, but it's got some really cool stuff. First off, dispensers, plant. <laughs> so if you have a farm in front of a dispenser and put some kind of seed in there, it will plant on the farm. So we'll get to our first feature that's not enabled in Feed the Beast Beyond. Just so you can see, one of the things that Quark adds is it will place blocks with a dispenser. So I place stairs in here, and supposedly if I hit the lever, it's going to place a stair. It doesn't. So that one's obviously disabled in Feed the Beast Beyond. Uh, and so go in, if you want that to happen, enable it. Uh, here's another one that's not enabled. You're supposed to be able to play records with this and it doesn't <laughs> so it's like bummer all these things that you're cool don't are unable to feed these beyond and i don't know why exactly the creators of beyond didn't enable some of these and they're not like they're game breaking they're they're cool right oh well uh here's one that does work <laughs> you can you don't have to right click on your animals to feed them you can just throw food in the pen and they'll eat it so you can have some way to to drop food down with the dispenser or a crate or something into their, their pen. You don't have to actually click on them to make that work. Um, you've got a thing called obsidian pressure plates. I think a lot of mods have this, but this is just one Quark has. It only fires for players. won't work for mobs or zombies or, or uh, animals or anything like that. Um, this is a cool one that uh, is basically a drill. Uh, it's a block breaker made out of a sticky piston and an end rod, and it should break, break blocks when extended. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's like a modded item, but really it's made up of vanilla blocks. So yeah, you can do that if you want to have a uh, uh, some kind of automatic block breaker there. Um, Feed the Beast Beyond does not allow you to move entities. That is a function of cork, but is disabled in Beyond. Uh, there is a feature here called the weather sensor. Uh, we'll t detect rain. So if we go ahead and make it rain. Yeah, there we go. Rain. It should turn on. There you go. Turns on. Turns the uh, the redstone signal. You can right click on it to um, alternate it. So when it's ever it is raining, it will turn off. That's a great feature if you're using better with mods where your windmill breaks if it's raining or you know some other thing you want to turn off or on when it rains. All right, let's go ahead and turn the rain off now. There you go. All right, so then we're going to get into a lot of decoration blocks. The first being a bunch of these wood, all the different wood types. If you put them in like a 4x4, four four, you're going to get a, like a bunch of these bark blocks. And they just have the bark on all four sides, or all six sides instead of four sides, like a normal wood block would. You can take all of those and turn them into fences. So you can, that's, that's kind of cool looking fences if you want to use those. Um, you can take your planks and arrange them into a certain structure to get... Um, carved wood and this is I don't know what you'd use it for <laughs> all those people more creative than I might want to use this kind of a texture in their builds that's pretty cool um, cork adds a charred nether brick so you can compare it to a standard nether brick it's a lot darker a lot blacker it still has some of the purple and red tones to it 
but it's a much darker uh, build. Uh, one feature enabled in Feeds Beyond from Quark is the iron plate block. It looks pretty cool. It looks like very similar to some of the chisel blocks again. Um, that comes in slabs, blocks, and stair form. Same thing with Midori. This is um, patterned off the purple blocks found in the end, um, but it's a green variant of that. And Midori in Japanese means green, apparently. <laughs> uh, they add a bunch of new sandstone variants. This is a polished sandstone. It's very clear. There's like no borders on it. It's very tileable. I like the look of that in a block and a slab form. And then it's got a brick version of that red sandstone and uh, same thing with the regular sandstone. Um, and then you've also got one called soul sandstone. So you take soul sand and you arrange it like you would sand to make soul sandstone. <laughs> and that you can get the polished and the brick form as well. And I think I've got the normal form somewhere else. Um, it adds brick forms um, of your diorite, andesite, and granite. Again, in slab, block, and stair form. Uh, where are we going now? I think we're going here. <laughs> You've got a version, of, it's called polished stone. It's basically like two stone slabs um, put together uh, in a full block form. Um, you've got a brown version called sandy bricks. So here's the normal Minecraft brick and here's the sandy version. Uh, you've got snow bricks. So you take snow and arrange it into a brick form and you get a nice little uh, thing that would be nice to build in the tiger or something. And here's the actual soul sandstone. Um, you've got the chisel, the smooth, the regular, all that kind of stuff. It's a lot and lot of decoration blocks that, that you know, fit in with vanilla. They're not, like, crazy. <laughs> um, so you can see it also takes a lot of the normal blocks in Minecraft and adds stair, slab, and wall forms of those. So if you've ever really desired granite stairs and just couldn't find it, well, now you have it with Quark. <laughs> All right, let's jump down here, and we can see got a few more decoration blocks. You've got sugar canes. Um, if you wanted just a better way to store your sugar canes in bulk, you could craft them into blocks, or you could use this to build with. Um, thatch with um, roofing is probably your most common use of this, but it's also a way to store uh, your blocks. Um, you can take wood planks and um, stack them in a crafting window three on top of each other, and you're going to get vertical oak planks. So it's just like your horizontal, but the lines go up instead of horizontal. <laughs> um, it adds all or, uh, chest forms uh, of all of the woods, you know, the, besides oak. Obviously oak's still there from Minecraft, but you've got all the, the birch and the dark oak and the acacia and the jungle and the spruce. Same thing with trapdoors, and they're cool. They're modeled off the door form um, that Minecraft vanilla has. So you've got your birch trapdoor, where it looks very similar to the birch door. I really like this one. This is the spruce. I think it's my favorite. Um, but your glass one with the dark oak is also pretty cool looking. Um, this is called the Blaze Lantern. It's very similar to the one you'll find uh, in the water temples, but it's a yellow version instead of a blue version. So that might be a nice way to light up your base. Um, block of charcoal. That's pretty common in a lot of mods, but Quark has its own version. Um, this will burn like a uh, netherrack. So if you light a fire on it it will just keep burning um you've got colorable versions of all the of item frames so you just take an item frame and a die and mix it together in a crafting window and you've got the the colored version so those are pretty cool to display your items uh here's a really cool thing it's called the iron ladder now as long as the very top one is connected to a block you can attach um ladders floating in air so that is pretty cool you can climb up it uh, and doesn't have to have a backing, as long as at least the top one is, is touching. Uh, it adds carpets for your leaves. <laughs> so if you want to, like, decorate but, you know, be able to walk over stuff and, and have it like a grassy path or something, you can use that. Um, there is kind of like a alternate version of the redstone lamp. This one is always lit. You don't have to have a redstone signal to turn it on and off. It's just going to be lit all the time. Uh, the nether brick has a fence, but it's missing a gate. Come on, Minecraft, why are you adding that? Or forgetting to put that in. Cork fixes that for us. All right, moving around the corner here. We've got different banner items. So in Minecraft, normally you can't use these items in banners, but if you want these cool little symbols in when you're making your banner, you can use the dragon head, the ender eye, the iron sword, and the iron chest plate to make these cool symbols. And obviously they are colorable as well. Uh, you've got the paper wall that looks very similar to something that's in chisel, um, but it's like 
glass pane almost thin, so it um, it behaves very similar to glass pane or an iron fence, that kind of thing. Uh, yep, so that's your paper wall. If you put down a single one, it just makes this little stick kind of thing, and so it's kind of a nice little way to make a tiki torch if you want to just have your torches raised up a little bit. Uh, let's clear my inventory because we're going to get into a few things here. Um, it adds a few commands. If you ever have been survival and you want to just delete a block and you don't have like a trash can mod, the default um, tool bind for this is control delete while your mouse is over it and it will delete the item. There's no going back on that, so be careful that your mouse doesn't move when you're touching that command, but you can delete items completely and they'll go away. Um, we also have the shield or anything that you want to put uh, into your alternate slots. Let's go into survival here. If I want to put an item in here really quick, I could drag it or I could just hit F. So it's very similar to swap swap items, um, tool key or, or hotkey, whatever, but you can directly do it from a mouse over into your shield slot. Okay, let's actually get rid of that. And put it back in there. Um, it makes um, armor stands have arms. <laughs> That's just one thing Quark does. Kind of cool. Uh, let's see this. It adds a way, another way to make a stone pick using flint. I don't know why you'd ever do this because cobble is a lot more abundant than gravel flint, you know. But it's there. It's there if you want to use that recipe to make your stone flint or your stone pickaxe. Um, it allows you to use torches as a fuel source. I think they cook two items a piece, possibly three. Um, but if you've got just tons of torches to burn and you wasted the charcoal, <laughs> you can use them in a furnace. Um, if you have chickens and you want some feathers really quick but you don't want to kill your chickens, you can right click on them and you'll get a feather. It will do a one heart of damage to the chicken so you can only do this four times before you kill him. <laughs> but if you have some method of healing them, like a potion of regen, a you know, splash potion of healing or something, you could get infinite feathers from your chickens. All right, um, if you do shear them and you just kill them normally, they will guaranteed not drop feathers. They'll still drop chicken, but no feathers. Next up, have you ever crafted with dragon's breath? and try to make an automated potion brewing stand? Well, you find out that the dragon's breath goes into the potions, but it leaves behind an empty bottle. What are you gonna do with that? Well, with cork, when you use the dragon's breath, the empty bottle is magically teleported into the, the void. <laughs> it does not leave behind an empty bottle. So you, you lose the glass when you do this, but it allows you to automate your brewing stands um, when you're using the dragon's breath uh, as one of the components. And if you don't know, that makes the splash potions turn into lingering potions. Pretty cool. So that's gone now. All right. Uh, another thing Quirk adds is make sure we are in survival. If I break glass, usually you lose it. However, with Quirk in, you get glass shards, which you can use four of them to craft back your glass. So you're still going to lose a little bit of glass. You know, I turned two glass into one and a half. Um, but if you don't have silk touch, this is a nice uh, way to get some glass back if you're breaking a lot of glass. Um, using a hoe uh, normally will break a 3x3. Three three. A diamond will break a 5x5. Five five. Thing of grass, so it's a very nice way to clear a good area really quickly using your hoes. Um, next thing, when you've ever been on a horse, you've noticed that you can no longer tell how hungry you are and how much experience you have. Well, they've got an improved HUD, so now not only you see the horse's food level or health level, you see your own food level and XP, uh, and whenever you go to jump, you'll see it changes to your jump bar and then right back to your experience bar. So that's pretty cool that now you can see those two things when riding a horse. Um, the other thing is if you've ever been on a horse and tried to shoot something and you've accidentally shot your horse in the face, no longer possible. The horse is completely immune to the rider's arrows. Over here, the Potion of Leaping. I really like this change. While under the effects of the Potion of Leaping, you have Step Assist. And it's not the Minecraft Auto Jump feature that everybody hates. This is the true Step Assist that just moves you up instantly. Uh, really cool. Definitely a, a reason to get the Potion of... Uh, what was it? <laughs> potion of Leaping. Uh, so you can have that. Um, 
Minecraft doors, you can left click to knock on them. It just makes it sound like you're walking on a wood or on a ladder, I think. The same, I think it's probably the ladder sound. Um, but if you want to knock on someone's door, quark is your answer. Uh, normally, let's go back into creative mode here. Um, if you want to craft a chest mine cart or a hopper mine cart, you got to actually use a crafting table, not anymore. You can just take a hopper, click on the mine cart, and it'll turn it into a hopper mine cart. Same thing with a chest. You have now have a chest mine cart. That's a really cool thing. Definitely needs to be in vanilla. Uh, the next thing is shaving snow. So if you've got a snow layer and you want to um, kind of make it... Um, I guess I don't know. <laughs> you can you can shave it off with your shovel just by right clicking. So now we have a nice little ramp up here. Um, but yeah, you can do that. I think if you're in survival, no, you do not get any snowballs this way. So you completely lose the the snow, but you get the nice shaved look. All right, over here, have you ever made a typo on your sign and you're like, crap, and i got to break it and type it all over again? With Quark, you don't have to. You can just right-click on a sign and edit, edit edit the sign. Really, really cool. I think that's in a lot of other mods or in vanilla already. Um, but, yeah, Quark adds it as well. Um, Quark adds the ability, you've probably used this and not realized it, to turn slabs back into planks. Uh, the next thing is your minecarts stack to 16. So you can have 16 minecarts in one slot. And when wearing a shield, it's covering up a lot less of the screen. Normally it would cover like all the way up to where I'm moving my mouse now, and that's a good portion of your screen. So with this, uh, with Quark and this feature enabled, your shield is much less. And still when you block, it puts it out really high, but when you're not using it, it's down below. And, Barely noticeable, which is much better. All right, next thing. This is just a vanity uh, thing, but you can take, um, I'm in creative, right? Give me a banner. You can take a banner, click on a boat, and it'll add a sail to your boat. That is so cool. I've got a sailboat. Whee! <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, one of the other things in Quark is a pirate ship that spawns out in the ocean, and they have pirate banners. And so if you get a hold of those, you can put them on your own boats, and you can be a pirate. Sweet. Uh, the next thing, elytra is dyeable. So when you don't have to use the ugly gray purplish elytra, you can now dye it any color. So let's go ahead and make a cyan elytra. Put it on there and see how we look. Oh, beautiful. All right, <laughs> oops, get those off of here. Uh, the next thing, you can, this is really cool, dye item names. So if you've got a, a sword in here and you want to change its color, I've got my Thunder Fury here, I could put a piece of orange dye, and now you see it's got, it's in orange, that's a legendary item right there. You can do the same thing to make it epic with some purple dye, uh, and now you see it's a diamond pickaxe. You cannot, however, change the name and the color at the same time it will just use the three levels to dye it and then you've got to use more levels to actually change the name there you go now i've got an epic thralls pick i really like that that's one of my favorite things in there all right um have you ever had a firework that you've taken like thousands of hours to craft the perfect firework with creeper shaped pink explosion rate and now you don't want just one you want a thousand of them well you can just craft empty firework rockets with uh your other one and you can see you're going to get a copy of it out it will not use up the original so now i've got 64 copies of the original uh pink creeper shaped <laughs> rocket really cool there um it adds Let's get rid of this. I've already showed that. Uh, something called Biotite to the end. And this spawns when you kill the dragon for the first time. So if you go in the end, or originally you'll not see this. As soon as you kill the dragon, you will. Uh, it breaks like nether uh, quartz and gives lots of experience. So this is a very good way to farm experience. Um, is to go f defeat the dragon and then um, after you've spent the however many levels the dragon gave you, go back in there and mine this stuff for a while and you'll have tons of experience to enchant stuff again. And then once you have it, you can turn it into various blocks very similar to quartz, um, just a very black version. All right, around the corner. This is a really cool one. This is the finale. 
if you want a head of your character or any other characters, here's what you're gonna do. You're first gonna get yourself all the ingredients for a snow golem. Let's get this. You're gonna want a name tag, and you're gonna need a witch. So you probably want to name tag a witch as well. I'm gonna go ahead and throw am I in creative? I don't want this witch to attack me. Throw my witch in there, and let's go over to this um, anvil to name, do this name tag. Uh, and then we just type in Funshine X here, maybe. Oh, I'm gonna put a name tag in there. Okay, and let's get one of S Gaming as well. I think his in-game in name is S Gaming. I could be wrong. I don't remember. Anyway, we'll use mine. Um, then you're gonna build your snow golem. One, two, and. Three. He's going to immediately be attacked by the witch, so we're going to be a little bit quick, but put that there and give him a name, Function X. As soon as the witch kills him, come on, witch, come on, <laughs> he will drop a head of whatever the name player he had on there. So now we got a Function X head. Let's try it with S Gaming and see if that works. Oops. I, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Where did you go? There it goes. All right. Kill him, witch. I'm ready. <laughs> and we've got S head here. Cool. <laughs> so that's that's it. That's all the features from Quark that are enabled in Feed the Beast Beyond. There are many other features. Um, if you go up to 111, you get a ton of new features, but Feed the Beast Beyond is 110, so you do miss out on a lot of that. Uh, but then also just a lot of features are, are disabled. If we look back in this, uh, this configuration here, get it up here, config... Let's look in automation. Oh, pretty much everything's enabled there. Building, pretty much everything. It's making a liar out of me. Decoration, you can't color your beds. I think there's another mod in Beyond that does that, so they don't want to do these. Um, chiseled already has various bookshelves, so you don't need that. Um, the management, uh, this thing doesn't work very well if you're not on full screen, so I apologize for that. Um, so... We can't really do that. But uh, there's things like it adds the ability to drop all items into a chest using a button or retrieve certain items from a chest using a button, sort items, all that kind of stuff. Um, different tweaks that are enabled, um, turning clay blocks black into clay, chickens will drop feathers on the ground, creepers turn red before they explode, um, endermen teleport you to them if you try and hide under a two-block ledge. I love that one. Actually, I hate it because that's how I always kill Enderman. Uh, greener grass, you know, just a ton of things that don't shouldn't really change the game too much, but Feed the Beast Beyond developers have decided to disable them. So enable them if you wish, um, or play the Feed the Beast pack as intended. And guys, that's it for the Quark mod. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Hope you guys are now an expert in this mod. And if you want to see another one covered in Feed the Beast Beyond, please put a comment below on which mod you would like to see coming up soon. Uh, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Catch you later. Bye.